For millions of years, Earth was fertile and rich. Then pollution and waste began to take their toll. Civilization fell into ruin. This is the world of the 25th century. Only a handful of scientists remain, men who have vowed to rebuild what has been destroyed. This is their achievement. Arc 2, a mobile storehouse of scientific knowledge, manned by a highly trained crew of young people. Their mission, to bring the hope of a new future to mankind. Arc 2 log, entry number one. I, Jonah, Ruth, Samuel, and Adam are fully aware of the dangers we face as we venture into unknown, maybe even hostile areas. But we're determined to bring the promise of a new civilization to our people and our planet. Arc 2 Log, Entry 207. We continue to search for samples of rare minerals buried beneath the Earth's crust. Today's geophysical exploration will take place in Sector 14, Area 31. <laughs> no. Adam, I don't speak chimpanzee. Say it in English. Somebody watch us. I don't see anything. OK, Sam, let's go. when you are, Jonah. Do you read me? I read you, Ruth. Have you started your descent? On my way. Mark. you at 20 meters below Earth's surface, Jonah. 20 meters. Got anything? Shiny stuff. Never seen it before. Sam says we'll need 10 pounds minimum for testing. Got it. Standing by to pull you up. All the way. Ruth! Sam, what happened? What's going on? Wild man. Oh no, Jonah. Jonah, are you all right? Perfect. What happened? Tell you when you're up here. You sure you're all right? Yeah. Come on. I'll take this. And I tell you, he was weird looking. Did he attack you? He scared us so much we couldn't tell what he was trying to do. Well, let's go inside. Here are your samples. You'll want to run some tests and make a report. Here, something. Is he coming back? Other people. <laughs> Welcome. 
We are here in peace. My name is Jonah. This is Ruth. We're scientists. My name is Simone. I'm hunting for a wild boy. Have you seen him? He was here. He ran away. To where? We don't know. Let me give you a warning. He is dangerous. Every year, he is more of a threat to us. Why? What does he do? He raids our storehouse and steals food. Maybe he's hungry. Have you ever tried being kind to him? We are going to put him in a cage and take him out to the great desert. Thanks for the warning. Careful. We're friends. We won't hurt you. Do you understand me? My name is Ruth. Ruth. What is your name? Name. Jonah. Jonah. I'm Samuel. You can call me Sam if it's easier. What is your name? You. Name. Say. 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 Isaiah. Is that your name? Isaiah? I Isaiah. Come on, Isaiah. Come on. I think you could use a good meal under your belt. Oh. Now, this is controlled to the kitchen. What do we have today? Fresh baked bread, cheese, fruit. That's fine. Now you'll have to wait a couple seconds. tracks lead to your machine. Yes. He's right inside. You've captured him. No. He came willingly. Are you mad that you treat him as though he is human? Understand? Now, this is a spectroscope. I'll show you how it works. that he is dangerous, but you would not listen. We will make sure that he does not escape this time. Okay, let's move it out. Power. 
Something's wrong. Samuel, I'm not getting any power. I know. Those rocks must have caused a short. Electron tensor fire's gone bluey. Can you fix it fast? I don't know in a couple of seconds. It's gonna take time, Jonah. We haven't got time. We've got to find Isaiah. Okay. I'll see if I can locate him. You guys do what you can, then catch up with me. Don't worry, Skipper. I'm on top of it. Bruce, give me a hand with the dead job. Good. You. More leaves over there. Good. More dirt there. Take the horses and hide. Good. The rest of you, come with me. Stand clear. Jonah, calling R2. Come in, R2. I read you, Jonah. Go ahead. Isaiah's in a lot of trouble, Ruth. I'm gonna need your help. Oh? Ruth, did you hear what I said? Sure, Jonah. I guess I'm just tired. Maybe not getting enough sleep. Well, hang in there. I want you to get in the Roamer and meet me here. I'm in a canyon, uh, two kilometers due south of you. Yes, Jonah? I want to prepare a little surprise for some owner people. You remember your celestial mechanics? I think so. OK. Now, activate full positron density on the force field. Now, connect that to three terrestrial relays. Keep your hand on the positron relay switch. But don't move that switch until I tell you. You see what I'm getting at? Sure do. The effect's gonna be fantastic. Just what I need. Get ready. Ready. You had a chance with your friends in the big machine. But all you proved is that you are wild. Simone's people can tame you. OK, Samuel, hit that switch. Samuel, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, nothing, Jonah. Whatever it is, hit the switch. Oh. Danger! There's nothing to fear! Come back! 
Samuel, you're a terrific sky mechanic, but Simone won't give up. It's fixed. Finally. You tired, Adam? Me too. Wish I could get some sleep. I feel kind of weak. Funny rocks. Haven't even run test on them yet. Jonah said to catch up with him when I was finished. So I better not fall asleep. Gotta help find Isaiah. Can't let Simone catch him. No, sir. Tired. Gotta dry the ark. Gotta find Jonah and Ruth. Turn the wheel. I say over here. Get in, hurry. Watch it. He'll throw it at you. No, no. No, oh, God! He can speak. The ore samples. That's what you were trying to tell us. Rock, bad. Those rocks must radiate something, and it destroys the oxygen in the air. Samuel, stop the ark. It's okay, Jonah. I'm coming to help you. Don't worry. Isaiah's all right. We've got him. Stop the ark. With him, he won't listen to me. Anything so pretty could be so deadly. Oh, oh, rock's bad. Cave bad place. My mother, father, gone. That's why you chased us when we went near there. And we tried to put you in a cage when you came to us for food. 
I'm sorry, Isaiah. The rocks must give off a deadly gas when exposed to the Earth's atmosphere. Once it was inside the ark, the gas used up all the oxygen. That's what made us weak and dizzy. <gasps> well, there's only one thing left for us to do. There'll be no more trouble from that cave, Isaiah. And no more trouble from us. Our village welcomes you. Come and live with my family. We'll be back to visit you someday. Friends? Friends. Oh, good. Friends. Friends. Good. <laughs> Friends. Friends. Two log, entry 208. Simone and her people learned that trust and affection can accomplish more than fear and misunderstanding. We learned something too. That although we are scientists and are highly trained, we can still learn things from someone who hasn't had all of our advantages.